We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Yeah. You know what? We did a review. We watched a movie. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watched a Movie. Jay, Mike, bringing you another Halloween time reviewed fun times, okay? But this one's not so very fun. Prom night, Jamie Lee Curtis, 1980. What the fuck happened after <laughs> Halloween? This is what happened. So basically, this movie's very simple to break down. Um, Mr. Belding shot it. <laughs> it looks like Saved by the Bell mixed with Goosebumps with a sprinkle of Beverly Hills 90210 fucking film editing footage in it. So the whole thing is... Um, these little kids are in an abandoned schoolhouse or mental asylum or something like that. They're fucking around playing hide and go, hide and go seek because that's what you do around tetanus things. And these little other little kids come and they join them. And for some reason, they get in their mind and start going, kill, kill, kill. And like backing this little poor girl up. And she finally falls out of like a third story window. And this piece of window cuts her in half. And somebody noticed that and a few years later wants to go after these kids that killed this girl because they all vow secrecy. This is what happened before I know what you did last summer. <laughs> they started it all here. And a killer is on the loose later on when they're all in prom trying to hunt him down and get revenge for the girl they died. And we don't know who it is yet, but later on we find out. It's not that hard to piece together really at the end though. You're like, hmm, it's, I wonder who was there. One of the original slashers, of course, that Halloween yeah. came first. Uh, Friday the 13th came out the same year. Texas so Chainsaw. It came out in 1980, but yeah. It was, it's a Canadian horror movie, so I guess that's part of the reason why it's, it's a book time. A cult it's a book time. It's a book time for a good Canadian horror movie. I don't know. I sound like Arturo, but it's no, like Sweden. <laughs> but it's got Jamie Lee Curtis in it. Yeah. It's got your scream queen in it. You know, like the the greatness uh, that was her, but she didn't really even play a. She was in it, like she's the main person, but it just. I, that could have been anybody. Yeah. She didn't. Add, I mean, as great as Jamie Lee Curtis is in those roles, it was like I mean, it's Jamie Lee Curtis, so that adds something. But dude, it was it, they did. The whole movie looked blurry, and for a long time, nobody could get a good release of this video. Like, there's so many scenes, it's so dark, you can't even tell what the fuck is happening in the movie. Yeah. But they, they finally, they just did a, uh, Synapse did a Blu-ray release, so if you buy that Blu-ray today, apparently it looks amazing. You can actually see what goes on in the dark scenes they fixed or whatever. But that was kind of like a Canadian vision. It was like a Canadian thing to do to put this film that they put over the camera and make it all blurry, and they did it on purpose. That's terrible. Well, see, the first thing I noticed about this is like when I was... When I actually watched it and completed it, it was which was hard. I mean, I really got 45 minutes. Like, <laughs> I was like, God, do it. Uh, but because I, I really did feel like I was supposed to say, but what's it all about, Basil? Because <laughs> that's what I felt like. I was like, I get what's going on. I get the general concept of the story. But it felt like every fucking scene in the movie was just spliced together from another scene. Yeah. It was like they were shooting multiple movies and they were just putting these scenes together. It's like, this is kind of a collage and we're going to make it seem like a movie. And Leslie Nielsen was in this too. And it's like he just walked off the set of The Naked Gun. Dude, how perfect would it have been if they... If they gave him more of a part in this movie and had him like an idiot like principal I, who's just like kept running into doors and shit like that he I almost was, was he almost movie. was in this movie yeah. i mean he was trying to play that serious concerned father principal but <laughs> he was dancing dude he was like she's like disco dance. i like how his face too he's like i'm not gonna do it but i'm gonna show these kids i got the moves and, <laughs> but it was just like he was already like had that i don't know if it was his the way he had like i'm he's not a terrible actor but it's just the way his his presence was on the set or the way he was moving around it just seemed like I don't even give a fuck about this movie it's like they were shooting Naked Gun next door and he was just walking back to the next set well, you want to think like he was way younger this must have been early his career he doesn't age he looks the exact same way he's he looks fucking... the exact same way he does in Naked Gun so you're still waiting for him to be like go go he's a vampire <laughs> and then uh, like I, I, Lou is my favorite dude yeah. Lou's my favorite Lou the, the, is supposed to be like the school bully badass when he just looks like an idiot <laughs> he was fucking hilarious dude in this movie like when he goes and picks up the bitch that the yeah. uh, I can't remember her name, but the, the bitch girl that hated Jamie Lee Curtis and wanted her boyfriend. She goes to him instead, and he goes to pick her up for prom, and he's in that shitty, like, rabbit field, and he's got his friends with him, and he's wearing his black shirt, and he's smoking cigarettes. She's like, where's your touch? He's like, to the trunk. Come on, we're going to have a good time. And then he takes that swig of whiskey, dude. It's the funniest part of the whole movie. He goes, ah! <laughs> I love it. I love that guy. And he gets in a fight. Uh oh As we watch quickly as the time. I feel like I'm in Paul Knight now too. He's like, why did it overflow? Live her alone. You know what? That was another thing that got me, that that was annoying. He's like, how, how they did like this Perry Mason freaking kind of Dick Tracy kind of thing when they were doing the inner narration and the inner dialogue. Yeah. And the guy would be over the camera and be like, where did he all go? 
Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> What's he going to do now? I, I was just like, this is. They went back after the movie was made and reshot scenes to to, and they added like the janitor and shit, like the creepy channel. I was like, mm, I felt like, I felt bad for that guy. Yeah, I mean, but they, I mean, they, they get to see the ass. Yeah, I mean, he got to see some things, but he was just like, I'm gonna change the light bulbs and look at girls, and he was like. Damn, everybody hates my life. I bet he went home and drank like nine packs of beer a day. And he was just like, fuck Well, they life. wanted you to believe he was killed. They added I know. Hair but he, they, they went really back and they added all that shit to try to make it a whodunit. And that's why this movie is just pieced together so shittily. At the end of the day, though, I liked it. I, it's not good. It's terrible. It's one of the hardest to watch movies you'll ever see. But it's fucking hilarious. And it's got that good old-time slashery feel to it. But the killer man, like, just, like, this is a song from our skit. Like, I've never seen such an idiot killer. Like, he runs into shit all the time. He's always tripping over shit. He's, like, he's drunk. And it's, like, he just, every time, why, why does he just run people and go, ah! He sounds like Beavis. Maybe he's got like that mask is like pulled over to his eyes. Like, oh shit! I, can't, I should have thought this out more clearly. <laughs> but it really is like some high school. I mean, I guess it's realistic if you think about it. If someone who hadn't done something like that before decides to put on a mask and go try to kill people, they would look like an idiot sometimes. Well, then you know, of course, you you find out later on it's the guy's brother or the Jimmy the Curtis's yeah. brother that's doing it all. That's killing for the revenge. And I get that the whole revenge plot thing has been done a million times, so it wasn't like that big of a shocker. But the way the movie <laughs> actually ends. Is fucking stupid. Cause she's like, she, you know, she hit this guy, her brother in the head with this fucking whatever it was. A two, I don't know, a two by four, some shit. He's dying, and she's holding him in her arms. And then the the camera pans back, and then it's like it ends. I was I was waiting for like something to say. Uh, Stay tuned for episodes of the next. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's just not like one of those like endings like that. I mean, you know, and, and also just I don't know, man. I guess sometimes the way they shot it and it look. When I say goosebumps, it did feel like fucking just a goosebumps yeah. movie or fucking like. Say Bob Bell, it just—it was so well, shitty. Well, they ripped off everything. I mean, they ripped off. Even though it was an early slasher, they still ripped off the slasher thing. The phone calls. I mean, that was Black Christmas. I mean, it was this actual always like, "Do you still like to play games, Sydney?" <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I know the scream. I guess took from that later on, but it was like that exact. Like, it's like they used the same phone call in every single one. I like that he couldn't get a hold of that one guy and got mad. <clears throat> he was like tapping his fingers. Like, God damn it! It'd be funny to be like, "Oh, just like, it goes, how can I tell you I'm gonna kill you if you don't answer your fucking phone?" I love the fat guy, dude, and. Uh, uh, Seymour. Seymour, when he picks up that girl. That, that, I love that, that guy, It's so yeah. unrealistic, because he just goes, he pulls up in a shagging wagon, he's like, you want to ride? She's like, straight to high school. He's like, straight to high school. And then, like, they show him shagging in the wagon, and I think Halloween 2, I think Rob Zombie stole that scene yeah. for Halloween 2, because it's the exact same thing. He goes out to piss, and they're like, you want to go have sex in the candy? And they're like, okay! And just, I love those two. They were awesome. I was sad that they died. It just sucked. I mean, you, I guess it was just a different time back then, that you could have, drive a fucking van like that, and be like, I'm going to take you to high school. Let's smoke some pot. And they call me Slick, by the way. And she's like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> that got a fro, but yeah. And then, of course, you got the assholes who are just trying to get laid. Yeah. It's got all the all the perfect slasher intangibles in it, like the guy that, that's uh, trying to get some ass in the, in the locker room. <laughs> that's whatever. funny shit. Well, if you don't do it, someone else will. <laughs> I like how they show that long stand up, too. Like, you know, you just see the desperation and shame coming out of that girl's face. But he's like, zip. <laughs> and he's walking out the door. She's like, you son of a bitch. He's like, see ya. Because he threw his, like, fucking his flower. He's like, that means nothing now. What was with the dancing scenes, too? I don't know. Well, it was disco madness. That was the problem. <laughs> it's like, we need five minutes. Can you guys just twirl on the floor? Well, now as I mentioned to these guys, like, that one girl that gets butchered in the high school, she's so fucking stupid. Remember, she's running back and forth trying to find a place to hide. And then when she runs that one down the hallway, I don't even know why she's not trying to go back to the party, especially when she knocks him down. She could have got back to the party then. But she runs down the hallway to the fucking bio lab or some shit. And like the way they shot it, it looked like a Michael Myers scene, dude. Because his feet just like come out of the scene. It's like, <laughs> and it, it was like it was, it was like he almost forgot he was supposed to come out. Like, I did it was like, like a delay. He's like, oh shit! I'm supposed to I did like that scene though when he does kill, kill her in the van. He opens the door, yeah. and she falls down. And he's like, meow, <laughs> <laughs> kills her. But no, I, oh, it's it's a funny movie. It's got some awesome slasher feel to it. I, the second time you watch it, it's a lot more enjoyable. Yeah. Because I think it's almost a letdown. Because if you haven't seen this movie, it's probably not. It's kind of a classic, like, cult movie. You think you think it might actually be good. And then you watch it in the beginning. It's got that weird Freddy Krueger kind of feel. It's got this fucking asshole kid. Man, I just want to kick those kids. I just didn't understand that point. They're such asshole kids, yeah. man. They're like, well, I don't want to go to jail. And then, like... I, you, you get a sense that it's gonna be okay. I hate yeah, that. It's nothing happens for like an hour. Well, I hate the little ringleader bitch that was. She's like, so are you not gonna say? And then the guy, the guy was like, come on, Tommy. One of the kids' name was. He's like, I'm not gonna say. I would be like, fuck off. I was like, I'm gonna go call the cops right now. They always had the best names: Susie, Tommy. They were just 1980 Brittany names or whatever. Yeah. I, but yeah, I, I, so I mean, at the end of the day, it is a cult movie, I guess. I mean, especially at the same time where I guess you just really need to drink. It's drink funny. a lot. It's it's, funny. it's it's unintentionally funny, and that creates a special little place for the movie. I give it a five point five. It's a terrible movie. It's shot awful. It's got so many fucking problems with it. Some of the acting is terrible in it. I love Lou. I thought he was fucking hilarious. And in that fight scene, by the way, did you notice that like 
he's fucking that girl with the mask on. Yeah. Like, basically sexually harassing this girl, and nobody ever tells the principal about it. But he was sexually harassing her. He's like, yeah, I started it. And he just takes the blame. But not only that, he's, he's sexually harassing Jamie Lee Curtis, and that guy walks up and punches him. And then the next scene, the camera turns around, and there's some blonde dude on top of him choking. I know. Yeah, it, it, was like, it was like Roadhouse. They just came out of nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, I, and I noticed that. I think it was like back in those days, was the principal would be like, yeah, he was touching that girl sexually in the, in the cafeteria trying to get her to go out. And he's like, she's a slut. What do you expect? She dresses like that. Her mother would never want to put her on those clothes. I like Leslie Nielsen's reaction. It's like, what do you think I'm going to take, get my, or get my son, in, or what do you Take like? my son's side? Yeah, like, what do you think I'm going to take his side because of my son? Well, you're right. Get out. You're suspended in death. He's like, see, I knew it because I'll see you around. It, ri- <laughs> it reminded me of Scream too when, uh, um, when, uh, what's his name? Uh, Fonzie. Oh, it's yeah. like, it's like, you little shit sticking kids and he's, he screws up the, uh, I'll, I can't fucking I just wish that one guy though was like, I'll see you around. That guy, I wish he'd had a leather jacket. I was like, hey. <laughs> like, he died because he was just so like there's something about him that they tried I mean he sort of looked like he could be a good like little like bully bad guy but he just it didn't come all the way through sometimes he's so stupid she tried to talk to him that girl was hot by the way yeah the mean bitch she yeah. was hot for the prom I like the dress mm-hmm. he's like you look fantastic by the way <laughs> <laughs> but I like when she's like hey and he's like I got this appointment <laughs> like his lines were the best of the movie so yeah 5.5 man I, mean, I like the movie it's enjoyable but it's a terrible movie so yeah, I'm gonna give it a 4.0. I mean, it's something like, I didn't mind watching one time. I don't know if I'd ever watch it again sober because I'm not going to ever again. Uh, I, but I mean, if I did watch it again, I would be drunk and it would be probably laughable funs. And I guess if you were at a Halloween party or you're with your friends or whatever, and you want to pop a movie and just have everybody just laugh and have a good time, and eat popcorn and throw things at each other and wear ski masks. This is a good thing to do. It just don't wear that ski mask to a gas station because you might get in trouble. Exactly. That's just gonna happen, dude. When I bought the stuff for the skits we're gonna do, like the carry and all that yeah. stuff like that, I, I literally walked up to the Walmart line with a blonde wig and a ski mask. <laughs> <laughs> it actually would have been funnier though if you had a blonde, the blonde wig, the ski mask, and then you'd had like a shovel and, and, some, and, and, and some of those like shears, chloroform, <laughs> and then, yeah, shears and a chloroform and some Clorox, and they were like, the um, piece. what's it? It's like. I'm doing some gardening. Yeah. <laughs> and Luckily, the it. girls had a bad day. She just didn't even look at my shit. She just threw it in the cart. So mm. there's that. See, that's how killers get away. Mm-hmm. And so they start. You that's it. it. 4.0, 5.5 for Mike. What do you guys think about Prom Night? What is your favorite shitty, shitty horror movie? This is a good question. This has got to be one of them. Yeah, this has got to be way the fuck up there. I'm trying to think if there was. I mean, there I, there was one that we watched that was fucking terrible. I, I've got I got a few ho- shitty horror movies that I love. Well, oh, mine your... would be Brain Scan. I fucking love mm. Brain Scan. I've never seen it. It's a weird fucking movie. It's got Edward Furlong in it. Did he rob lobsters? I wanted to know that question. Did you guys go to prom? <laughs> it's like, did you go to prom? Was it Disco Madness? Yeah, I went to prom. Or Enchantment of the Sea. I broke my hand at prom. I went to prom. Everybody was I like, got my car caught in a ditch. I bet no, but I went to I went to uh, 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 God, dude. What's what happened? I take my fucking student pills this morning. Or I did take my student pills this morning. See? Yeah, see I, I went to a field party after prom and everybody was like, I bet nobody could punch this barn door and break this two by four. I bet I, I was like, I can fucking do it. And I put my beer down and I took a running start and just like... Did you run across the field and sound like Leatherface? I ran. I was like, I was, I, I, I was such an asshole. I would have been killed in like the first five minutes of a horror movie. Because I was like, I'm drunk. I'm fucking do it. And I did a running start and punched it. And I was just... And it just all, I didn't realize until I punched it. It was like that thick. And it wobbled, and I went back and I sat on the tailbone of a truck and I picked up a, I picked up a beer and someone was like, "Your fucking hand, dude!" <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And I, I looked at my hand, and this side was underneath this side. It was fucking black. And I went to the doctor the next morning. and He was like, "That's the most broken thing I've ever seen." And I had to have two surgeries. That was a fun story. You know, what? just when the whole thing you were describing me it reminded me of that uh, scene from Freddy vs. Jason where they were in the hockey or they were in the field and he was like, "That hockey guy was pissed." He goes, well, "Hey, Jethro!" <laughs> 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 you know one of those guys, you got your head chopped off. It was bad. But yeah, so that's the question of the day. That's Mike's little entertainment story. Mr. Rogers Neighborhood gonna get it down. Um, so that'll be about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie.